Welcome everyone, welcome one and all. We are coming live from 16 Bit Arcade here in Columbus, Ohio for Beat Down at the Bit Street Fighter 5 tournament. In our first matchup, we're gonna have our very own EX Mills versus Hank. EX Mills rocking the Dab Pin and Hank going with the Bird Mika. So we'll see exactly how this is gonna play out. Round one. Fight. All right, so somebody's a fan of uh, start combos. Mm, all right, well, I appreciate it. I love Mika trying to fight her way out of the corner. And she's out. And now Ken's back in the corner. Mm. Good thing he needs to hit this. Good thing he got to armor through that. Do it again, and it's done. Is she going to kill him? Giant swing. Round one goes to Hank. Round two. Fight. Hmm. Air to air struggle. Now Ken's locked in the corner. What is he gonna do to uh, what is Hank gonna do to keep him there? Alright, nice air grab. Giant swing back into that corner. Just regular grab. Ooh. Wake up, DP. You're not a Ken player if you don't do that at least once. All right, great toss up into target combo. Nice mid screen pressure. Oh no, you cannot throw those out, sir. That is hella unsafe. Just like that, Hank takes it. 1-0 over. So. Obviously, Mills isn't going to switch characters because Hank or because uh, Ken is his thing. Let's we'll see if he's actually going to, you know, make any adjustments. And that was a very quick round. That was a very convincing one too. Going right back in. Oh man, you got to keep blocking, man. All right, DP, sure, of course not. Good combo. Ooh, Mills, you can't keep dropping those combos like that, man. You gotta get your pressure on, and you gotta lay it on thick. See, he's going for these single jabs. He's, he needs to get like a big, couple big combos to turn the tides. But he's uh, kind of getting stomped on right now. All right, this is a good start. Oh, then he drops it though. Back throw, get the most meter available. Mm, don't throw out the DP, sir. And just like that. You get elbowed in the face. See, Mika's even tired, like, man, all these elbows are thrown out. <laughs> all right, good, good neutral on pushies. Ken's back in that corner again. Interesting trade. Hank is doing a really good job at spacing out his attacks and avoiding everything. All right, good. Get it out of the corner. Don't push a button. Oh, okay, good. He didn't push anything. He backed up. Oh, it was like she's in the corner, but Hank is fighting his way out. I've got armor on this. What are you going to do? EX fireball to no avail. Hmm. Keeps dropping them combos. Can't do that, sir. Good, good grab. Surprise her with the tech there. Uh-oh. All right, the XDP, he's out. Finally get himself on the scoreboard. Get off me. Get on the scoreboard, sir. At least one, just get one. That's all he needs. All right, he finally gets around. Let's see if he can do it again to actually put himself on the scoreboard. Oh, that's a good jump away. That could have been all bad. Nice. Mm, misses the cross up. Uh oh. Pushing him in the corner. He's slowly trying to fight his way out. However, Mika is not giving him the space for time of day to do so. 
Coming to Deshko. Good block. All right, good beat here, cancel. But still gets right back in that corner. You can't just... You have to have a game plan once you throw that out. Oh, he's not dead yet. Uh, now he is, unfortunately. And just like that, Hank takes it. 2-0 over Mills. That is most, most unfortunate. So we're going to see who our next opponents are. Okay, next up, we've got Swifty saying, going up against Wake Up and Smell the DP. That is all one word. Wi-Fi has a range. You can't walk away. <laughs> <laughs> then go pee. Put your phone down. Yeah, I did already. Oh, no. I think I had to reconnect. Wait, there it is. All right. Yeah, you plug it in and you just leave it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was like, I'm not broadcasting. <laughs> sorry about that delection. connection delay, folks. Our internet literally walked away. So in our next match, we're going to have Swifty Saiyan against Wake Up and Smell the DP. I am sorry. I did not mean to walk I already, told, I already told him. Take a, take a game. 
Not a, well, he's gonna be able to do that if he keeps running into his fist like that. If they don't block it, it doesn't matter. Get Chuck. You wanna go for another? Oh no, get Chuck. Cancel it. Well, that's one to wake up a club DP. Again, that was a pretty fast match. I wonder if it's gonna continue. Or is Switch Saiyan gonna actually, like, you know, do something other than getting hit? Well, well thing is, all he's gotta do. Is charge that taps. Catch him one time and pop B trigger. It's a wrap. Yeah, but he has to hit him and not get hit in the process. <laughs> Problem is he keeps running into stuff. So you can have all the taps in the universe. If you don't hit him, it doesn't mean anything. I guess he wanted to go for a change of tire. Oh God! Oh God! They both did. They so we got Street, uh, street Thug Barog, or Boxer, and versus Lesbian Ken. <laughs> I was gonna say 80s douchebag Ken. Nah. I've seen, I've seen quite a few women in a few bars look exactly like that. Fight. Nice jump in. So these came and see is coming in strong right now. Oh. Oh, crush power. Make him a piece, keeping him in that corner. Oh, this is dizzy. This is over there, Oh, You can't drop your CC combos like that, man. If you dizzy him, you get all the damage. You can't just drop it. Oh, Oh, no. Ow. Oh, no. Like, I know your name is Wake Up and Smell the DP. That don't mean you gotta always throw it out. Oh! Did you jump in? Knock the out. That's one round for Wake Up and Smell the DP. One round away from taking the set. Fight! Also, the team comes in with the low. They're both looks like they're playing a little nervous. No one's really going for anything like assured or safe. They just kind of throw one of those jabs out and see if anything sticks. Yeah. But then, since they're not used, they're not expecting to hit. They don't have anything planned for a follow up. Oh, like that cross up. Dizzy. Don't drop it this time. Do it again. There you go. Oh. You get your feet clipped. Wake up and start a DP. Take the set. Can win. Well, yet again, that was a pretty fast and convincing match. 2 0 for Wake Up and Smell the DP. So, we're going to get our next match lined up for us. Let's get some more Street Fighter V action going on. That's a rock battle. No, that's a you don't block it, you run and everything battle. All the love going around. Quite the camaraderie here. Up. I don't think he is. I think he's just taking up space. He's just taking up space.
Yo, know, if you come across a really good motherboard, let me know. So <laughs> I will always cop that. All right, so looks like we got our own Rob TV versus. What is that? Oh, that's um. Cereal sauce. Ah. Uh, cereal sauce? Yeah, capital R. It's case sensitive. There you are. There. Cool. There we go. <laughs> My thing, thing is, I don't know everybody's name, so I'm just like, who the hell's that? Who's that? Or I know your name, I'm like, okay, what dumb, what, what, what login you got this week? Oh, planes and stuff? Oh. I, I'm just messing. I mean, I, or I say it jokingly, but if you actually did, were able to find a good motherboard, seriously, let me know. I just, I'm trying to, like, get good stuff. We all would. <laughs> that and RAM. You can never have too much RAM. Oh, sure you can. Bull crap. <laughs> have way more RAM than you'll ever use or need. Well, it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. True. I got a guy. Good. Nice. All right, that's right. Uh, Rob TV is expanding his pool of characters, and looks like he's fighting with Laura tonight, like he was uh, last time, I believe. Yeah. He played Karen at the very end. Yeah, because he didn't want to lose. But hey, Rob TV made uh, top eight at Red or top three at Red Bull, I think. Like it was a it was a, a week long or a, a, a season long thing, and he came in top three. Mm -hmm. So, strong grappling out of uh, out of Rob TV. Multiple command grab setups here. He wants that stun. He wants it bad. Oh, nice cereal sauce, keeping it safe. Oh, unfortunately, he's getting tagged. Quite the fitting, quite the fitting setting for this, considering they're both in the wrestling ring. Yep. Now see, I think Mika should have the advantage here just because like Laura has to commit to a very linear attack style. Now granted it is rough, there's a lot of block stun and hit stun, but Mika has the mix-up game. You gotta hit him first. Yeah, true. Smack, smack, smack. Of course this yeah. could this could be Rob TV level intimidation happening right here. Good hits, good hits, alright. Uh oh. Not a good oh. That wasn't good on his part. Can't block a, a super throw. Can't block throws in general, especially a super throw. That's the, that's the trouble with grapplers fighting grapplers. Someone's going to win that frame advantage, and they're the one that's going to win. The uh, when the animation uh, the animation dash there. All right. Fireballs. Oh. Yeah, it's a knees to chest. Oh knees yeah. Knees to chest. It's a, it's a Rockets tryout. That's what we're watching. No, that's ankles above head. Like she's going for the marching band at this point. Or as I like to call it, my Friday night. Uh, ooh. <laughs> I appreciate the armor we're going through. Okay, not sure what he was planning for there. No. I but it's going to cost yeah. him. <laughs> Rob TV won a run away from taking this set oh, over yeah. cereal sauce. See the uh, sauce? All right, good attempt. Yep. Didn't work, but you know. Yep. Oh, using the bomber to keep himself uh, out of close quarters. Now see that jumping kick, super duper safe. Yep. A lot of people want to try to push something afterwards, and you, you can't do that. Nope. Not unless you got something with bone, on bone frames on it. Oh, gosh. Oh, command grab missed. Not Rob TVs though. No, that's it. Well, cereal sauce goes down super quick. That, that was that was fast. Laura 
win. Under boob. <laughs> Under boob is the new side boob. What is she even wearing to keep herself up like that? She's not. Called youth. <laughs> I'm a barely legal Brazilian. So, next oh up. Oh my God! Look, look at this edge lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it should be a XDSC ocelot, you. Oh. Little, little X, big uh, D. There we go, and just hit down a couple times. There we go. Good. Stunner. Get, what, 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 Stunner with an underscore. Stunner? Alright. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh. Uh, it's underscores at the end. Gotcha. There we go. Yeah. So, next up we got XDSC Ocelot Youth versus Stunner. Yep. And I never knew his name. Actually, like, I know their names. I don't know their, their, their tags. tags. Yeah. So I'm like, what, what are they going on this time? My Elgato doesn't seem to be putting out any sound. That bothers me. Switch. Yes, please. <laughs> Minor technical hitch. What does this end go to? No, no, I mean on the Elgato. Give us a few minutes here, folks. I have some technical difficulties. Did you test it before this started? Yeah, it was good before. going to have to reset. I was asking about the... Okay, the screen keeps kind of going black. Yeah, I know. I was asking about the HDMI on the other end here. What do you mean? No, that, that's not necessary. What is it? 
It's the it's the out. Okay. The, this is the inside. Sorry about the delay on that, folks. Had a technical difficulty, so we had to like restart everything. But we're good now. I learned how to 
to drive in five minutes. I had my car for five years, and I, and I taught several other people how to drive in my car. The only reason I don't have my car is because someone ran into the back of it while it was parked in front of my house. Wait, again? No, this is the same car. No, I know who did it. Wait, do you know the person? Do you know who I'm trying to beat? I don't think you do. Final round. Fight. Elgato itself. I think when I mess with everything, it defaulted back to 30 frames a second. Oh. <coughs> so even though I'm broadcasting 60, I'm actually only recording and, and streaming 30. Round one. Fight. Uh, well, that might be something we can adjust after this match. In the meantime. GL 809 trying to put the old uh, Karin 1 2 over on War Machine there. It's not working, you know, I'm not sure if it's working so out well for him. Oh, yeah. Get in the corner. Last place you want to be versus Rog. Oh, nice fresh counter, though. Oh, he couldn't follow up. That's going to cost him. Typically a good idea to not run into his fist. Yeah, usually. Oh! Nice carry. Ah, oh, but a wake up jab. Round two. Fight. Alright, here we go. CL wants to get back into this. He's gotta turn it around right now. He's almost a full V feeder. Full critical art. <laughs> Body checking the fist. I like it. Oh, Gio's not there, so we'll just come around. Looks like you guys 
got downloaded. Yeah, oh! got, got peed on. That's a uh, wipe win ended. Oh, oh, and GL goes down. Okay, sorry about that. First the internet crapped out on us, then we weren't getting sound from the actual capture card, and then the actual system itself just, just decided to stop. It froze. So now we're back, we're back, back, back. This is the kind of shit that makes me want to get a pro. The pro has similar problems. Really? Yeah. Things might load 10% quicker though. <laughs> We've got XDSC Hitman versus Weapon X. Yep. That sure is what's happening right now. And <laughs> so this is probably going to be over pretty quick. Uh, Hitman's not one to fuck around when he sees blood in the water. Hey man, you got to give the opponent some credit. Oh yeah, it's Halloween, motherfuckers! That's probably one of the best costumes in this whole game. The one that Nikali's wearing. Round one. Fight. All right, here we go. Devil versus Wolfman. Who will win? I thought he was a centaur. I don't know. Bull guy. No, uh, no, he's definitely he's definitely a, a, a devil, and not a demon. It's him yelling, but bites and grabs him, putting his hand over your mouth. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> so he literally shut him up just to throw him. He's like, no, none of that. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, he's oh, throw that out. Oh, no! That's it. That's the end of the game. Get put against the wall. <laughs> this kid looks like a rug from that high angle. That's oh, what you do with wild animals. You kill them, you stuff them, and you put them on the ground. Alright, here we go. Let's see if uh, Weapon X can turn this one around. Oh wow, let's just walk up slowly and into here. You blast you into a combo. Let's do it again. We're done! Ow, ow, ow. Oh. Get thrown. Don't get beat on. Don't get beat on. That's no. not perfect though. Knees oh. to chest. 
He's like, go ahead and turn off your hurt box. This will be waiting for you when you come back. Yep. <laughs> he gets hit by purple stuff from the real guy. The match ends. He gets launched into more purple stuff from the stage transition. He cuts out that meaty, uh, that meaty drummer knee. Oh, don't feel bad, Ross. As long as you had fun or you enjoyed yourself. Yeah, man, That's what's I, important. Like, my best night here has been, like, two and two. So, I mean, like, it's all about just having fun. My best night is making fun of everybody else at their discretion. See, like, right there. He did it again. He's going to yell at him. He's like, no. Stop that. Get the time out. Yeah, how about his head? Oh, yeah. my God. I forgot you could do that in the air. Yep. So not only if, if he did, him out with it. Yeah, I was like, if, no, if that didn't hit him, he was going to chip out, but like he did, yeah, he got chipped out. So, XDSC Hitman took that in a really, really, really convincing fashion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, message. DP says he played you last night. You can play it. Yo, this is Hitman. Shout out to DP is life. Good games yesterday. We'll train more, brother. See, he told you we'd pass your message along. Yeah. We, we are commentators for the people. So, we're going to get our next fight for you guys up and running in just a few moments. Our lovely mugs here for a few moments here. Alright, so we Next have game. Ryan Vile. And it is it's vile and it is spelled like the villain from Mega Man X. And who we got up next? I'm just gonna let you read this. So we got Ryan Vile versus fake news Pluto. <laughs> All right, fake news, Pluto. You, you realize that I have to edit that out later. Fake news, Pluto, aka Eli, aka Jupitard. Oh, that's his plane. Yep, there he is. Here's the man that makes me edit, edit my tournament registry every week. <laughs> All right, so this ought to be a good slobber knocker. I would say both of these guys are about on the same level. I haven't actually seen a fake news Pluto. I haven't seen him play lately. I don't know if he's gotten any better or worse, or if the rest is still fed in. You know that you know that Eli has he has solid theory at the very least. Like he, he know, you know, I've never heard a person shout the word Oki more. Like, <laughs> uh -oh. I, th I think Ryan Vile has, has some like tiny Japanese high schooler shouting for him in the background. Ryan Gambate! That hair is distracting. <laughs> Basically, every form I've seen of the Kali tonight has just been a villain from Diablo. Oh, nice. Alright. Dash up and grab you. Lords are definitely worth being scared of. <laughs> oh, 
for last I heard, Eli was rocking Nikali as his primary character. So, we'll see if he can figure out the game plan. Oh! The game plan should be don't get hit. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not going to be accomplished by whiffing uh, ground pounds. Surprised that wasn't an elbow. Yep. Oh. There's nothing beats standing medium though. Uh oh. You can see Pluto there evaluating his resources. He's going, now nah, you know what? Jump in. Oh. Oh no. Oh man. Let's go. Nice catch. Um, that was cool, but now you have exactly no resources against the character that's armor moves. And, you know, just get in whenever you want. So, you know, it's, this is a challenge. This is, this is Takamura using only his left. Okay. You have no idea what I'm talking about, dude. It's more of it's not working. I know who you're referring to. Okay. He's just getting smacked around. See? There you go. He was looking for a nice combo into his beat trigger and it just didn't work. It, it, it didn't work so hot. Final Fantasy 15. Uh, yeah, remember that? Okay. Well, it looks like I'm out. Enjoy the, enjoy the beatdown stylings of Stunner and Cereal Sauce. Let's see how well this shakes out. Well... And from the start, Stunner's establishing pretty good presence of dominance. 
Haven't got hit yet. And as soon as I say that, he gets drop kicked out of the sky. Wake up, flash kick. Some you can do that suplex. Oh, snuffs out that overhead. And... Uh-oh. See, people? This is why if you bring a controller to a tournament, you desync the moment your match is over. So you don't run into a situation such as this. Or you do the smart thing. You play with a wired controller. Not a controller with a plug that you can plug into. I mean a wired controller like a stick or a pre-made controller. Okay. The fact that they're pad players isn't the problem, Kevin. The problem is people who don't desync their controllers when they're done. So we keep having stuff like this happen. It happens way more often than I care to admit. So, it's not pad players that are a problem. It's negligence that's the problem. If you're going to come to a tournament with a controller that isn't a stick or that isn't wired, it is your responsibility and your duty to make sure that you desync that thing after each and every single fight. Each and every single fight. But, enough of the ramblings about people not knowing how to operate their machinery. Right now, I watch Stunner kind of put it on cereal sauce. So Cyril, I guess, took that brief reprieve to like collect himself because uh, Stunner is uh, getting tossed around and is getting dangerously close to stun, ironically enough. Is he going to get it? No. Oh, well, he's not going to get stunned. He'll just get the death. So he gets around. Oh no, don't hit a button. Why'd you hit a button? She's super safe after that. That was good. Have the Sonic Hurricane for good measure. Oh, beautiful anti air. I love that he's willing to do that. London Bridge? Oh, missed that backhand. Grab. Where was the punish? She had, she had a hell of a recovery after that. Nice box. Good. All right, get in the corner. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I mean, whiff, grab, get smacked out, and you don't punch her in the top of the head. That's that kind of punch you see if you're in a club and people have too much to drink and they start fighting and they throw chairs. Somebody's going to get punched in the top of their head. <laughs> Ooh. Come on, man. I want to see a back breaker. You jump up in the air, you bring her down. One, and give him that London Bridge. Uh oh, no. <laughs> Don't be throwing him out like that, sir. Hmm. All right, good corner carry. Oh, man, whiffing the command grabs. Getting beat up for it every time. Really? All right. He tried. All right. So, Stunner's momentum might have been. Messed up, quote unquote, for a little bit, but he seems to have gotten it back. Now, let's see if Cereal Sauce can actually do something about it. Yes, lest he gets, you know, just smacked around. Like, he owes people money. All right, good opening. Good play the spacing game. Now, Mika does have a couple ways to get through it, but you got to time it and know it's coming. But he manages to get in. 
up, oh, wake up to flash kick, because why not? I mean, it's like we're playing Street Fighter 4 or something. Oh, but jump in with no anti-air. No, man, you can't push a button. Can't push a button. All right, guys, get him in the corner. It's a mix-up. Oh, he saw it coming. Say so he realized, hey, he likes to wake up flash kick. Oh, no. Stunner got stunned. The irony is not beneath us. All right, he's playing a good game with uh, get, avoiding the fireballs to get in. Nice anti-air jab. All right, interesting trade. All right, Stunner's playing a bit more cautiously now. Tries to cross up. Nice. Bait that jump. This is Street Fighter 101. Throw out a projectile, you jump over. I'm going to knock you out the sky. All right, good. Uh, misses the second follow-up. Mmm, that was tricky. Don't get stunned again, Stunner. Don't get stunned again. Oh, no, you got stunned again. Face first. What's the finish? What's the finish? Finish your play. All right. And Cereal Sauce finally gets himself on the board. 1-1. One, one. I guess uh, he didn't take too kindly of that last match. Yo, what's with your hair, Mika? I can't see you. It's just all yellow. <coughs> Going right back into it. Let's see if uh, Stunner can uh, learn anything from this. And the first thing he should be learning is don't get hit. All right, that was, a, that was a nice attempt at anti-air. All right. Mmm, too far. Run the bridge. Oh, man, this is uh, overhead your knees. Don't put, oh, man, you can't push a button. He keeps falling for that. She does the drop, she does the drop kick and then hits a button afterwards and he gets smacked. Try the uppercut. Uh-oh. Nice. Try to grab him. Get some distance. I appreciate that. Use the EX flying beach to get out of there. Uh-oh. Great anti-air. <coughs> so, Sierra Sauce, one round away from taking it. Oh man, he keeps falling for that. Don't hit a button. He yep, he falls right again. Anti air. Oh, he misses the grab fall up though. What's the All right, get big damage. Uh, don't drop it. Nice overhead and reset. Don't hit a button, Kevin. All right, he did not hit a button this time. All right, that's good. All right. No. Why? Why would you do that? You can't do that. If you see, if you see it going, you don't throw out a flash kick. It might work, but chances are it's not going to. All right, folks, we got our next match coming up here. It is HF versus Simpkins. Never mind. So we got a slight switch up. Next match is going to be our Rob TV versus Ocelot Youth. Push down. Hey, 
You're up. You're up. You're playing. Just waiting for our contestants to actually, you know, show up and play the game. Stick Melee is fighting it out right now in another setup. It's looking kind of close. I'd show you if I could, but there are people in the way, so I can't get a clear shot of the TVs. So now that our opponents have actually, you know, gotten to the game so they can play, Rob TV versus Ocelot Youth, they're going to have Cammy. Huh. That's different. So, Jerry. All right, Matt won. Good for him. He'll have to get up again to play another game. Which means I'll be on my commentary by alone one more time, at least. So, is he having like a character crisis or something? Alright, that's more like it. I'm going to say like, uh, what is he picking? That's not Birdie. Then he picks Birdie. Again, folks. Just waiting for them to like. Hit, there you go. Like, waiting for him to hit a button so he can play the game. He can play the video game. <laughs> All right. Butcher Birdie versus Swim Cert Laura. All right. There's a whole lot of swing and missing right now. Oh, way swing and miss there. Oh no, you can't throw that wheel kick out. You get ex command grab by Birdie for your troubles and lose like a third of your health, or a fourth of your health. All right, good anti air jab. All right, so. Ocelot Youth doing a really good job, well at least he was doing a really good job, spacing out with his normals. Keep Laura out, because Laura wants to get in your face, but then when she gets in, he gets that EX command grab. And then the regular command grab for the KO. So, oh, names are backwards. It's like, I just realized the names are backwards. <laughs> but just like that, Ocelot Youth gets around off. So he's doing a really good job with spacing his out normals. See, a lot of people not realize that. If you hit Laura before the projectile fully comes out, the projectile will disappear. 
like right there. He hit her before he was able to actually shoot all the way out. And plus that move has armor, so he would have gone through anyway. <coughs> oh. Fortunately, he spaced that enough to the point where he wasn't able to punish it. Mmm. All right, it's good. Very nice. Oh, man, the footsie game right now. See, Rob needs to kind of got a way to get in with Laura. I mean, she has the she has the tools. It's just very difficult. Like, Birdie has a lot of stuff that can keep her out. It's great spacing, great spacing. Good patience on his part. Hmm, no anti-air. All right, interesting choice. He's just going to like... Oh, no, he tried to jump over the wheel kick. Yeah, good job. Not push a button, but he gets thrown. One more move, and it's either for, over for... No! Oh, man. You walk all the way to the range of that grab, and then you just get shin kick. So, Ocelot U takes a, it takes a game. 1-0 so far. So, Rob has a lot of characters under his belt. Is he going to stick with... Laura, or is he going to say, screw this, I want to win and play and actually switch to Karen? What's it going to be? Oh, no. Nope. Right back into it. Under the skies of the, in the lights of Aurora Borealis. We're going to beat each other to death. Oh, man. Each one's afraid to approach the other. Oh. Okay, see... Right now, they're both trying to inch into the max range of their attacks while also avoiding getting hit by the other person. But right now, they're both in each other's range. Nice anti-air. Gets thrown. Oh, man. Nice block away. All right. No command grab. What's the mess up afterwards? Nothing. All right. Easy extra figure. Hmm. Command grab. Oh, that was a nice setup. He was just a smidge too early with it. And Rob TV takes around. <coughs> All right. Try to throw out the chain. You know, just see if he can catch him doing something. But just like that, Rob TV's in. But he's able to actually keep him out. Man, this, uh. Hmm. Birdie can win this matchup. He just has to be very selective about what normals and what moves he throws out. Because of like that, with very with just one mistake, Laura's in your face and you're getting chucked. But as soon as I say that, she gets thrown in the corner. Really? Critical art. All right. Not dead. If he was any other character, if he was if he was a lesser character, that would have killed him. Cancel. Do it again. Okay, just a regular one. That's fine. Save that meter. Well, he didn't have the meter, but, you know, walk up shin kick. So, Rob TV finally gets a game. I'm saying that like he doesn't win. He wins all the time. But it's nice to see that they both got something on the scoreboard. Let's see if there's going to be an adaptation made on Ocelot use part. Uh-oh. Back to character select. We're going to see a change of, change of character, change of scenery, change of costume. Or are we just gonna need a minute to get our get our get our breath? Take a moment. Oh, change scenery, alright. You know, if they could hear the music, I would probably say like, you know, you should go to the best stage in the game, Hillside Plaza, because stage two's music is so good. Okay, so change a locale and change a costume. He was rocking the uh, the butcher birdie. Now he's going with the, the Steve Harvey slash Freddie Mercury if he really let himself go birdie. With default Laura. She's like, nah, I don't need to look any sluttier than I already do. You can catch these hands and these knees as is. <laughs> oh, no. You can't be whiffing that on start. That jump in, that's like almost the fourth of your health, sir. And that is the third of your health. This, uh, isn't it looking so hot for uh, Ocelot Youth right now? Uh, uh, uh. Let's mix up. There it is. Oh, man, don't get peed on. Don't get peed on. 
Okay, good. You didn't get beat on. It sucks that you got smacked around as quickly as you did, but at least it wasn't a perfect. I just hope you can make some adjustments, Ocelot, man. Nice anti-air. Oh, no. Every one of his normals, he misses, which leads into a jump in. He's finally able to get her off of him, but he's got a lot of ground to make up. Mm, good elbow. All right, get in that corner. How are you going to handle this overhead? Oh, man. You throw the media out too soon, you get grabbed out of it. Uh-oh. Is that it? Is that it? No, 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 not yet. Now it is. Oh, man. Just like that. Rob TV takes it. 2-1 over Ocelot Youth. It wasn't as free as I thought it was going to be. He actually, Ocelot Youth did actually put up a bit of a fight for that little bit. I don't know if he ran out of steam or if Rob just said, hey, you know what? I'm tired of getting hit and tired of losing. So he's going to kick it up a notch. We, I'm not sure. So we're going to get our next match up here going for you folks. Looks like we're going to have Taco Supreme. Who is he going to be fighting? 